these guys have got spending issues somewhere else. It's not their outgoing expenses that are screwing them over. It's the the, the way they're, they're probably, they probably know their barista by name. They're that bad with their money. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's James Hayes. This is Intentionally Broke. Today, we're going to be watching another episode of the Dave Ramsey channel. We all love Dave Ramsey here on the channel. Feel free to let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Titled, you guys are the most chaotic people I've run into for a while. So this is going to be an insane call, I reckon. I absolutely love the Dave Ramsey channel and I love reacting to their their content. Cole is in Wichita, Kansas. Hey, Cole, welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hey, Dave. Uh, hey. I'm, uh, I'm proud to be on here with you. Thanks uh, for your time. Honored yeah. to have you. How can we help? Uh, well. All right, so we've got Dave Ramsey, the man, the myth, the legend, and on his left or his ride, is Rachel Cruz, which is his daughter. I love their dynamic on screen, so let's see how this video goes. We are in the hole big time. I mean, I guess not big time. We're, we're on our way there. Um, and I don't know what to attack first, I guess. Um, what we're going to do, we're still in one of the vehicles. Um, it's, it's got some problems that are... Okay, still the guy... Cole needs to slow down and explain the situation better. He is one of the things that irritates me about people is when they explain something like you should know or you know. For example, I was working with someone and they said, oh, I'm catching up with Jimmy. Not me. I'm not Jimmy. I'm James. And I had no idea who the heck is Jimmy. But she explained it like I should know. And I said, who's Jimmy? Turns out Jimmy is a chick, right? So that throws another spanner in the works. And apparently, Jimmy is her girlfriend. I had no idea. No idea. Right? You need to slow down and explain the situation before you start saying, we're about to sell the car. What? what? To arrive, I've noticed, and uh, so we're just going to sell that one. Um, Come on, Dave, so ask questions. Over. We're going to save a thousand of it for our emergency fund. And then start applying whatever else we have to the rest. Mm -hmm. um, basically, what I don't know what to do. Dave is, is a very patient man. He should interject and say, How much money do you earn? Where's your debt? Give me the categories. Wake up. Explain it to me, right? He's just sitting there. It's just patient, patient. And Rachel is just sipping on her, her drink, just like chilling. Looking ahead to the end of this month. Um, I'm going to be in the red, and I don't know what not to pay and still be able to live, I guess. All right, so Dave Ramsey's got a, uh, he's got a blanket statement for this. There, there's, there's, there's a rule to what you pay first when you are on the bones of your ass, right? What, what's he going to say? Um, I don't want to go behind on anything, but I, it, it, it's inevitable I, at this point, I'm pretty sure. I think what he says is the four walls, like the things that uh, food, shelter, uh, bills, or whatever it is, right? I think that's what he's going to explain, right? So the car payment and whatnot, that might be put on the back burner and focus on your food and then your housing. How old are you guys? Uh, I'm 31. My wife is 30. Okay, when I think about 30-year-old people, I'd like to think that, someone in their 30s has their life together. But unfortunately, in this society that we live in, 30 doesn't seem to be a great age to have all your financial ducks in a row. I'm not expecting people to be multi-millionaires in their 30s, but I expect people to have more than $10,000 of cash just laying around either in investments or something, right? I just, no. A am I unrealistic thinking that? I mean, from 18 to 30 is 12 years. 12 years you should have had enough time to get your life together. You've been married? Uh, five years on Friday. Oh, Your nice. Household income. Uh, that'd be uh, 100 and 112000 Okay, so they're earning $112,000. That's a very good, very decent income. Uh, even Rachel here, she reckons it's a good income. Just look at that. So you make good money. There you go. Dave agrees with me. I mean... Hundred thousand is no no slouch in Wichita, Kansas, dude. Okay, I can't afford to pay my bills. What can I do? Okay, he. That's excellent. Yeah. So what what's causing yeah. the problems? Him. He's causing the problems. Well, we. I think where we're at right now is um, after Christmas, uh, 
there are some bills that I forgot about, and uh, we've got to... Yeah, please tell me how you forget about bills. I, I hate paying bills, right? I've got enough money to pay my bills. I still hate paying my bills. So when a bill comes, I know about it because it hurts. It hurts to pay bills. That doesn't change. That never changes. So how do you forget? No, you you chose to buy presents at Christmas time, and because you need to do that, right? That's probably what he did. Uh, an almost one year old, and uh, the hospital called on that, and I got on a payment plan with them, and that payment plan came out, and it overdrafted my account. And after that, I'm just trying to. I thought it was a payment plan that he forgot about. Play catch up, I guess on that and it's just been one thing after another i wonder what dave ramsey's choice of joe is um what, joe mama <laughs> sorry tire tire blowout on one of the vehicles i think a new tire for that and the others it's expensive right now um how much so, was the hospital bill that came out of your account uh, that one was, uh, it's only, it was a $222, $222 payment. Was making $115,000 a year. $222 does not put you in this mess. Yeah, that's tough. That, what kind of mess are you in that $200 sets you back if you're earning that kind of income? Just make it make sense to me. Please explain this to me. Right. What, other, what other debts well, you have, Cole? Right. What else do you have? Well done. Uh, so so, um, uh, okay, the, the worst it could possibly have, I reckon, in your 30s is $20,000 worth of debt. Uh, that's consumer debt and maybe $50,000 worth of student loan debt. But we all know I flip and hate student loan debt. Two vehicles right now. Um, one of them we owe 4500 on. You owe 4500 Oh, Sorry, I thought that was 45000 4500 still bad. The other one we are 6200 on. Um, okay, so again, earning $112,000 a year, owing that much money on cars, it, it's almost negligible, right? Those payments would be min... min what's that word? Minuscule. $6,200 Look, Dave doesn't seem to... He, he, Dave, these guys have got spending issues somewhere else. It's not their outgoing expenses that are screwing them over. It's the the, the way they're, they're probably, they probably know their barista by name. They're that bad with their money. We're selling, by the way. Come on, okay. um, we've cool got, uh, My wife has around 30000 in student loan. There you go. Student um, loan. The uh, credit card um, is right around 14000 you got $14,000 worth of credit card debt when you're earning $100,000 a year. Something terribly wrong with this. Um, and the house is 102000 And what else is there? How much is the house worth? What do you mean, what else is there? Uh, house, uh, right now, I, I haven't had it appraised or anything, but I'm, I'm thinking that I could get around 140 to one hundred. Okay, so your house payment's not, like, insane. It's not like you guys live in a half a million dollar, million dollar house. There you go. That, that, uh, <clears throat> okay. I can't compute here. I just can't compute. Something's going on here. Um, right. It's $1,050 so a month yeah. for the house. So, Cole, I mean... How know, much? The order a month. Yeah. Um, right. It's $1,050 so a month. $1,050 a month. That's just over twenty uh, two two hundred and fifty dollars a week. That's nothing when you're earning uh, one hundred twelve thousand dollars a year. That's nothing. The, no. So Cole, I mean, you know, yes, I understand. This is it's overwhelming. And Cut through the bullshit. Come numbers on, here. But also, um, this could work. So my question is, month to month. Do you guys, are you, is your lifestyle just completely out of control? Are you guys just spending a ton? Um, no. Without. No. You got a lot of money going somewhere that you haven't shown us yet. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, daycare too. So 300 a week going to daycare. What's your wife make a year? Uh, she makes 52. Okay. 
Was that part of the 112? Yeah, that's part yeah. of it. Yeah, I make I make 62, she makes 52. Okay. okay. The only thing I can think of is um, you're completely chaotic and disorganized to the point that you're out of control. That's the only explanation because there's nothing there's nothing glaring in these numbers. What I would suggest him doing is sitting down with his uh, bank statement, go through the last six months of his bank statement, and finally go through it with a fine tooth comb. Work out where you're wasting your money. You're, you're earning too much to be broke. This doesn't seem to make sense. You need to work out where this money's going. Waiting for the fifty thousand dollar car, and it wasn't here. I kept waiting yeah, for something yeah. big that was smacking these smacking this budget in the mouth and it's not here. So the only thing I can come up with is you guys must be some of the most disorganized, completely chaotic people that I've run into in a while. Yes, I would agree with that. Okay. That's why we're, right. we're jumping on with this. We want to get it. You know, okay. we, That's fair. I'm not picking. That's not, I'm just trying to help you. trying to figure out where this is going so I know how to fix it. I'm not picking on you, okay? Because I'm, I'm, I, no, I, I, I get that. So, here, okay, the, that's bad news and that's good news. The good news is that you're the problem. The well, that's great. That's great. Once you work out if you're the problem or not. If Most of the time with personal finances, if you're broke, you're earning a any income. And if you're broke, if you're working full time, there's no reason for you to be broke. You should have at least $50 a week going somewhere. Investments, paying off debt or something, right? So most of the time it is your fault that you're broke is you're the problem so we could fix this okay really quickly so a, a detailed in-depth game plan where you tell every dollar exactly what to do every single month and you and your wife pinky swear and spit shake that you're not doing a freaking thing with a single penny except what you agreed to on this hardcore plan will get you out of this really fast you're gonna turn around so fast. And Cole, that plan is you're not you're not going out to eat. You guys aren't Amazoning stuff to the house. You're not shot like you're doing. You're turn, literally turn doing off nothing. Amazon Prime. It's amazing. Uh, we've watched a bunch of Dave Ramsey content. We've watched a bunch of other content. And when it comes down to winning with finances, it's all about having a budget, baby. You have to budget. I don't care if you're rich, poor. You're earning a hundred thousand dollars, fifty thousand dollars, two hundred fifty thousand dollars. If you don't budget, you're screwed. Absolutely screwed. You're doing nothing but catching up with yep. these bills because the, there's, not going there's out to eat. you can do this, Cole. I mean, the numbers no. are here that no, I'm like, oh, no geez, vacation this, this summer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dave. <laughs> and no vacation. Yeah, okay, okay. They got the memo no spending and no vacation. <laughs> Oh, Dave, he's got to put his spiel in, right? Broke people. Yep. No eating out. You're I'm broke prepared. people. You don't see the inside of the restaurant <laughs> unless you're working there as your extra job to clean this freaking mess up. Okay? So this is like, yeah, put well. yourself in financial boot camp. Because here's the thing. You two are not dumb people. And if I hired you and said, I'll give you $10,000 to look at these people's budget and tell them exactly what to do with it, You'd have it done in an hour and a half. That's exactly right. Uh, one of the best ways to get ahead financially is run yourself as a business, right? If you were getting paid to save you money, you would do it, right? It's amazing how many people are so good at what they do for a living and then they come home and they fucking frivolously waste their money. You get three jobs in this world when it comes to money. One, where you earn that income. Two, where you save that income. And three, where you invest that income. Now, number two is the most important thing, right? If you earn $30 an hour and you find some way to save $30 a week, that means you save an hour of your time. If you go out to eat and it's $30, you're wasting an hour of your time. Is, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Yeah. So here's what you do. You take care of food first. Lights and water okay. second. There we go. The, the, you pay the house payment third. Yeah. You pay the car payments okay. fourth. You put gas in the car fifth. You don't need any clothes. You got enough this month. Yep. Okay, buy clothes only when there's something that's completely about to 
fall off of somebody or whatever right now. That's exactly right. When it comes to clothing and us privileged first world people, I'm talking to you with a freaking smartphone. If you have a smartphone, you've probably got a closet full of clothes that you don't use. Now, if you are the one person in this world, in the first world, who only has one shirt, I'm not talking to you. But I'm talking to you, who's got a closet full of clothes. You don't need any more clothes. Save your money. Just do it. Just do it. Anyways, that'll be a, that's enough of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to smash the like button and subscribe if you are new and you enjoy this type of content. Feel free to add me on Instagram or TikTok. Completely up to you if you want to do that. Check out this video here for more of me. More of me. How egotistical does that sound? More of me. It's okay. Thank you very much for watching.